A lot of you have been questioning me about my home screen setup. What icon pack do I use? What wallpaper do I use? And what are the widgets that I'm using on my phone? I'll take you step by step on how to achieve that look. But before we move on, I'm trying to reach 200,000 subscribers and it's not gonna happen without your support. It'll be great if you could drop a like, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon and that should do it. Anyway, let's get on with this. And to get started, you'll need KWGT Widgets Pro, Nova Launcher, Crispy Dark Icon Pack and Shadow KWGT Widgets. If you don't know how to use Nova or KWGT Widgets, I've done a video. It's on the top right corner in the card. Do check it out. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is to apply the wallpaper. If you've purchased and installed Shadow KWGT, just go inside the app, go in the walls section and you'll see the wallpaper right there. So all you have to do is click on the tick mark option and the wallpaper gets applied. And now let's place the widget. Make sure you've got KWGT Pro installed without which you can't do this. Then long press on the home screen, go into widgets, look for KWGT, long press that and drag and drop it outside on your home screen. Long press it again and just resize it to some uh, decent size, big enough that it can accommodate a widget that you want to place. It still may not be perfect, but we'll take care of it a little later. Now tap on the widget, then go inside Shadow KWGT, which you must have installed. And now you have all these widgets available. You know, you can scroll through the list and you can choose between light theme and dark theme widgets. We've got a light wallpaper. So we might as well choose the lighter widget, you know, the, the white colored widget. And that's the one we're looking for. Just tap on it. You'll see that it's cutting on the top and at the bottom. But again, as I said, we'll fix on that later. Hit save, go out. Now to fix this, just long press on your widget, hit resize again, and just increase the size a little. Okay, maybe a bit from the bottom, a bit from the top, and just tap on the widget and there you go. The widget resizes itself depending on the space available in the widget, which you just increased by uh, resizing. And now let's get all the icons that you need right there. So just go in your app drawer, long press on the app icon and drag it outside. And once you've got all of those placed, it looks something like this. Now, if you see the icons, they're not moving up and they're hitting the illustration or the visual a little at the top. So that's because there's this widget that's taking up all the space. So what you can do is just reduce the size now and the widget will resize accordingly. And now you've got ample space available so you can just move the icons up a little. This may not happen for you because you know you may be working on a different screen resolution but just in case if that issue is there you can fix it. Now all the text on the top is hardly visible because your wallpaper is white as well. So go into your settings and if you have Nova you can go into look and feel and tap on dark icons. And this will make sure that you know your battery percentage, your time, everything is black and it's visible. And now that you know how I achieved this look, you can try and experiment with different widgets in light mode and dark mode or with light wallpaper and dark wallpaper and combinations of different icon packs to see what really looks good and you can come up with your own uh, home screens setups. So let's say you want to change this widget. Again, tap on it say load preset and then go into shadow KWGT widgets again. And now this time choose a different uh, widget. Let's say this one, hit save and go back and you've got this look now. And who says that you have to stick to just one home screen? You can have multiple home screen with, you know, different widgets with different icons and you can have one as default. It's all up to you. Now, let's say you want to change the wallpaper. You know, you've got bored of this one. Just go back into Shadow KWGT and apply a new wallpaper and you suddenly have a slightly different look. You've got some space here. You can fill up a widget. Now, let's say you want to try a dark widget. It looks a little odd, you know, when you have it on a white background. But let's say you want to change the wallpaper. Again, go back into Shadow KWGT widget pack click on walls and this time choose a dark wallpaper so that the dark widgets, they look kick ass and they do. And now have a look, it looks really good. I can change the icon pack to something more funky. So let me try Linux icon pack. And that's pretty much it. Right in front of you within 20 to 30 seconds, I've given you a completely new home screen look. And that's all it takes when you've got the right widget pack and the right wallpaper. Now let's say I wanna change this one to something else. All I'm trying to demonstrate is that it doesn't take too long. And even if you're slightly creative like I am, 
you can get these permutations and combinations rolling on your home screen. And yeah, so again, let me try something else. Let's go back and change the wallpaper to this one. Okay, so there's, it's slightly busy on the top, but free at the bottom. So here's what I'll do. I'll just pull the widget down and there you go. You know, you've got this fabulous looking home screen again within 20 to 30 seconds. And again, you know, you can just go and change the icon pack to something else. Let's say icons and that it may not look as great, but still you've got a new look. Anyway, I hope this was really helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment them in the section below. As always, guys, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.